Get good grades to help you land internships to help you secure a job. I think in a lot of ways that was the perspective I came into college with, and in some ways that is the experience I've had, but there's a lot more to that story. I think my expectation, and a lot of other people's expectation, is that college takes in high schoolers who have relatively little knowledge of their subject area, teaches them everything they need to know to be able to land a job, and then sends them on their way to have a successful career. But as college gets more and more expensive and people continue to question whether or not it's really worth all of that money, I decided after my four years at Tech I'd take a step back and talk about what college does and does not do for you. Probably one of the biggest reasons why people actually go to college is because a certain job expects you to have a degree. For example, you could be completely self-taught and supposedly qualified for a job. But especially within the confines of an interview, they can only ask you so many things, and it's a lot easier for them to verify and get a sense of whether or not you know what you're talking about by just checking to see if you have a degree and not trying to probe exactly what you do and don't know from your own self-teaching. Beyond a technical perspective, if you're self-taught, you also probably haven't had the same experiences working in teams or in groups that's a big part of a lot of college programs and is going to be very important when you're working in a real world job. That being said, some places are starting to ease those requirements to give self-educated people more of a chance, but just realize that your options are going to be much more limited if you decide to go that route. Any well-designed college curriculum is gonna expose you to the fundamentals of your area of study, and beyond that, you're probably also going to have the option to drill into things that you're specifically more interested in. For example, my degree is in computer science, but Georgia Tech let me specialize in two specific areas of the field as part of their major. This isn't to say that college teaches you everything you're going to need to know, and I'll talk about that more in a little bit, but in theory, it should expose you to all the basics, and then beyond that, let you drill in a little bit deeper in a few different areas. Going to college is also gonna give you access to all the tools and resources you need for your major. So if you're someone who needs access to a lab, that's not something you're gonna get if you're self-studying. If you end up going the self-taught route, it's not that you can't be exposed to a wide range of topics in your field, you just have to realize that it's probably going to be a little bit harder, and that's because college isn't automatically going to be doing it for you. You have to essentially design your own curriculum, figure out which things you need to learn, and then also figure out on top of that what specifically you want to specialize in. At least before the era of online classes, one of the biggest parts of college was the social experience. And I'm not even just talking about this from the perspective of going out or partying or any of the other stereotypical social activities at college. I really mean this from the perspective of it enhances your classroom experience. My freshman year, a ton of people on my floor were CS majors. That means anytime anyone had a question or learned something interesting or just wanted someone to study with, there were a ton of people right there at their disposal who were going through the exact same classes. Obviously, you're not going to get that same sense of community when you're doing online learning, and that's definitely something I've missed over the past year, but I expect in the future that's going to become more and more of a reality again. Especially if you're self-taught and you're not taking any sort of classes, it's going to be a lot harder for you to make friends and build a community of people who are interested in the same thing as you. Now, you don't necessarily need a community and you can definitely learn a ton of stuff without having people to bounce things off of, but in my own experience, having some sort of community was definitely beneficial and if you are going to go the self-taught route, I would definitely recommend you try to find some other people who are interested in the same stuff as you. Odds are you probably know a college graduate who spent several years of their life and a lot of money studying a particular field and then wasn't able to find a job in that industry because apparently this isn't all that uncommon. About 40% of people are underemployed in their first job when they get out of college. Now, this is partially attributable to the job market because if there's more supply than demand, not everyone is going to be able to land a job straight out of school. But it's also partially attributable to the fact that not everyone is competitive in the job market when they're graduating from college. College can only expose you to so many different things, and on top of that, you're also going to probably have some not-so-great professors, and of course, you'll only get out of it what you put into it if you're constantly skipping class, not doing your assignments, and just doing the bare minimum required to pass and be able to graduate. You're not going to get that much out of college, and you shouldn't automatically assume that you're going to have a job waiting for you once you graduate. If you're someone who's self-taught and you have a ton of initiative, odds are you'll probably know more than a college graduate who didn't really take things too seriously when they were in college. So if you're a college graduate, don't automatically assume you're gonna have a cushy job waiting for you when you graduate. You need to take it seriously and really learn the stuff. Otherwise, you probably won't be competitive in the market. If you think you're gonna graduate from college and you're gonna know everything at your first job, odds are you're in for a bit of a reality check. The truth is, if there's anything I've taken away from my internships, it's that a huge part of the job is being able to learn quickly and figure things out on the job. Speaking from experience, I've had to learn new tools, development styles, and languages on the job, 
And I think it's much more valuable to be able to pick up these skills while you're actively working than just coming in with all those skills, but then not actually learning anything over the course of the internship or your job. Realistically, anything you study in college is gonna have a ton of different specializations, tools, and new developments that you cannot physically learn all of them in college. And fortunately, you don't need to. There's a lot of people who are opposed to this idea of learning outside the classroom and self-teaching, but if you actually do this, one, you're gonna round out your skill set so much more, but two, and probably more importantly, you're going to learn how to think critically and you're gonna build your skills for learning quickly on the job. And that's gonna make you a much better and much more qualified candidate than someone who just takes their classes, gets their grades, graduates, and enters the job market. It's estimated that around 75% of students coming to college as either undeclared or change majors at least once, and that generally means one of two things. First, it could be that you just never got exposed to a lot of things in high school and you haven't found your passion yet, perfectly fine. Or second, perhaps you thought you had your passion, you started studying it, you found that you were really bad at it, or maybe that you hated it, and now you need to pivot and find something else to study. And obviously, there's nothing wrong with that. There's a reason why colleges let you and even encourage you to switch majors while you're in college. The question then becomes, what happens if you never find something you're passionate about? It could be that you ended up at a college that doesn't actually have the thing you're passionate about, in which case you'd have to transfer schools to be able to study that thing. Or it could just be that you never really found anything you cared about, and as a result, you just picked something randomly to keep yourself from bleeding more money so you can get out and graduate and get some sort of job. I've been fortunate in that I've known what I wanted to do since high school, and I never even had to think about switching majors but I know other people who made it most of the way through their college experience before realizing that what they were studying was something they didn't want to do for the rest of their life, and then they had to pivot and find something else to do. Especially if you're going to be going into a lot of debt to go to college, you definitely want to make sure you're finding something you're passionate about and you're not just picking something. Otherwise, one, you'll probably never use your degree, or two, if you do, you're going to end up in a miserable job, and really, neither of those are great options. There's a lot of other things that I could talk about here, especially once you start thinking about other aspects of college other than academics like personal development and achieving independence, but I'm going to wrap things up here. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up button, I really appreciate it, and if you're new here, consider subscribing for new videos coming very soon. And that's it, thanks for watching, I'll catch you guys in the next one.